So with YouTube being as crazy as it is right now regarding the adpocalypse, content creators are trying to find new ways to monetize their channel. And I think that one of the best ways to be doing that is by using Patreon, which is a crowdsource funding website. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up a successful Patreon page. So right now, I'm just gonna be taking you through the setup of the page, and it's actually made really simple on the website. However, uh, just to talk a little bit about Patreon, I'm gonna have the CEO with the video introducing the program. Patreon exists because when creators are paid, they can create more amazing things. Things that inspire us, teach us, challenge us, things that make us laugh. Patreon is a membership platform that makes it really easy for creators to get paid. We're using the idea of patronage, which is actually a really old idea. Exactly, Jack. If it weren't for patrons, we wouldn't have Romeo and Juliet or Mona Lisa, Mozart, Shakespeare, Da Vinci. They all had patrons, mostly aristocrats who paid them to create so they could enjoy their works and brag to their friends about how cool they are for supporting creators. Yeah, so it's kind of like that, but better. Creators of every kind, podcasters, YouTubers, musicians, writers, allow their fans to become patrons or members. Patrons set a monthly subscription style payment for the level of membership they want. Like for five bucks a month, you get early access to content. 10 bucks a month, extra videos. 20 bucks a month, behind the scenes stuff, you name it. This provides creators with a sustainable income while retaining full creative control. And it allows fans to connect with them on a whole new level. We have the flexibility to create without having to necessarily worry about how that's gonna impact us financially. And that level of freedom is, I can't tell you how important that level of freedom is. Thousands of creators and creative teams are using Patreon to run their business their way. They're doing what they love and they're being paid to do it by the people who love their work most. So if you're a professional creator, start a page and give your fans the opportunity to become patrons. It could help you do the best work of your life. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do on Patreon is actually start your page. And after you fill out the set of generic information to set up an account, you are going to be able to create your display name. And I would recommend keeping it whatever you're using for your YouTube, your channel already, just in case people lose the link, it'll be easy for them to find you once they're on the website. So for me, it's gonna be DLITS TV. Next is gonna ask you what type of content you're creating. And I would definitely recommend getting as specific as you possibly can. For me, I'm a how-to channel, but more specifically, I uh, am a how to grow for small YouTubers. And that would be what I type in this section here. You're just gonna to wanna to go through and fill out the rest of the uh, standard information that they're recording. After you go ahead and fill out the rest of the required information, you are going to get an email and be greeted with this message, again, from the CEO. So, welcome to Patreon. We're thrilled to have you. Go get paid for the things that you're giving back to the world. That's what it's all about. Okay, see you later, everybody. So now as you move on, you see that you're gonna to have to fill out more generic information, uh, you know, what your name is, which sounds more correct to you, all these kind of things that Patreon needs to uh, sh uh, display to other people viewing the website. Uh, you're gonna to wanna to do your profile picture. I would definitely recommend doing uh, what you're using for your channel currently. Also, you might wanna create a new cover image for this. Uh, a lot of it is to attract the viewers on your page because the cover image is such a huge portion of the page itself. Now, just as an example, I would do something a little different than just my classic DLTV for my cover image. Uh, I really want it to maybe add a line to it and have it say, you know, what I'm doing on my actual YouTube channel so that people, when they come to this page, get a better sense for what it is all about. So next you come to the about you section. And at this point, it's very critical to get your message across, you know, why you are creating creating this Patreon channel, how the donations are gonna help you because at the end of the day, these people are going to be giving you money for what you're doing and you're gonna to wanna to say, oh, this is what you're getting in return and this helps me in these ways. The people donating their money really just wanna know that it's going towards a good cause, either benefiting you, the channel, or making their lives better. Now, the absolute most important part of this channel is the intro video. And this is not an intro video to your YouTube channel, it's an intro video to Patreon. Because most of your traffic to this page won't actually be directly from Patreon itself, you're gonna wanna create a funnel to get users to this page, and the best way to do that is in that intro video. Now also, for very obvious reasons, there are multiple links that you can connect your social medias to. I uh, highly suggest doing this. Now after you go through this page and it's set up to your liking, you're gonna wanna go up and save your changes. 
And the next step in the process is to actually create your membership tiers. What's awesome about this is that you can set up a unlimited amount of tiers, but Patreon itself recommends that you have one to five tiers for this portion. So just as a generic tip when creating your tiers, you're going to want to incentivize the viewers to actually donate to your channel. So to do that, you're going to want to make your offerings sound good. So if you can create unique things that uh, are going to give back to the community that's giving to you, then that's great. But be careful and don't overwork yourself. Another tip is to not go overboard with the amount of tiers that you create. Uh, the most common would be a $5 tier because people have costs day to day of $5 and they don't even think twice about spending that money. And finally, the last portion you need to set up in your Patreon page is your goals. Uh, don't go overboard with your goals. You're going to want it to sound reasonable. You definitely want to be hitting these goals and it looks a lot better if you're asking for less money and people end up giving you more because they just want to generally help you out. Okay guys, I hope this tutorial video was able to help you out. If you could help me out by either liking or subscribing to the channel, that would be awesome. If you guys have any questions for me, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you.